Welcome to another episode of the Tom Green Podcast. And today, I'm in the van. I am in an amazing place. Uh, I want you all to go watch uh, the video of this on my YouTube channel as well and subscribe over there because what you'll see is some incredible drone footage and just videography that I've shot of this place. Well, uh, it's a place in California. It's about four hours from Los Angeles, maybe three and a half. I forget how far it was. Uh, I was back at home in L.A. for a few days uh, doing some work on the studio again. I'm trying to make everything perfect. The studio, meaning the studio that's in this van. Sometimes I have to go back and pick up some equipment. Uh, but very soon, uh, I'm going to be going on a much more extended trip. This might actually be the beginning of it, where I'll be driving up into uh, northern, uh, the northern United States and then Canada uh, to uh, get up there and enjoy the weather uh, during the spring and summer in the van. And uh, I will be uh, really traveling around and taking you on some crazy adventures as well. It's funny, I, I've just started doing this where I stream uh, or, or broadcast on YouTube as well as on the Tom Green Podcast audio. And it's, it's a new format for me. And I keep wanting to look at the camera, right? Because when I look at the camera, you know, I'm acknowledging the, the YouTube audience. But I have to remember, this is a video of the Tom Green podcast. So I have to keep my mind focused on the microphone because that's, that's the audio. Theater of the mind, they say. Theater of the mind. I'd like to describe to you what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking out the door of my van, which is wide open. Listen to the silence. Listen to the silence here. Uh, the door's wide open. There's no cars going by. There's no planes flying overhead. There's no laughter or screaming or shouting uh, because we're in the middle of the desert. We're in the Mojave Desert. I believe a dry lake bed or at least adjacent to a dry lake bed, but I believe we're, we're in a dry lake bed. Now, I got to tell you, I'm not David Suzuki. This is not the nature of things. Google that, America. Oh, I'm not David Suzuki, and this is not the nature of things, okay? So I'm not um, here to describe in excruciating detail what exactly these pinnacles are, but I can tell you there are some kind of rock formations uh, and I believe this used to be some sort of underwater sea at one point, and uh, water eroded these rock formations in a way where you've got these pinnacles. And what do they look like? They look like pinnacles to me. They look just like pinnacles. And uh, I've been flying my drone over them and, 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 and getting some beautiful shots uh, today towards them. Not through them, but, well, kind of through some of the peaks of these pinnacles. Through some of the peaks of these pinnacles. And uh, I really am I'm getting uh, pretty excited about this drone footage. I love it. And it's part of my, uh, my photography journey is to go out and capture some really beautiful landscapes. I'm also shooting on film with my Leica M6 camera. And I'm also shooting... Um, a lot of video with diff different lenses. I got up this morning and I shot the sunrise, although it's a little overcast today, so it wasn't the perfect sunrise, but I still got some amazing shots, both still shots and video shots uh, with, my, uh, with my camera, with my long lens. I have a 200 to 600 millimeter lens with a two times teleconverter, so that's 1200 millimeter zoom which is uh, a telephoto lens, basically. It's a, well, it is a telephoto lens. It is a telephoto lens. And uh, so I've been zooming in and getting these really amazing shots of these landscapes and mountains and vistas out here in the desert over the last uh, few weeks. I just got that lens. So the, the videos are evolving on the YouTube channel. I really want you, you guys to go check them out and subscribe. But Charlie is sitting here uh, sleeping uh, in, the, in the van. Charlie, the pot cake dog. Uh, she is uh, resting in the back of the van right now, having a little nap. And I've fired up the studio. Takes me about, 
I don't know, it takes me about 10 minutes now to fire up the studio because I've got the speakers wired. I've got the, the microphone, don't forget the microphone, uh, wired. It's all running through these mixers and amplifiers and, and, and compressors that I have in the van. And it's all powered by this amazing solar battery system, Battleborn batteries, they're called, and uh, they're really cool. And I'm able to come out here into the desert all alone and run this studio indefinitely because of the solar panels on the roof just keep charging the batteries. So it's amazing. It really is amazing. And when I got into wanting to do this uh, van and build this studio in this van, you know, it really was something that I really decided to do when I understood what the technology was with how you can actually run power now off grid. And it really is amazing. It's a game changer. It wasn't like that when I was growing up doing doing the Tom Green show and traveling around in a van and in 1995 in Canada. We were we were traveling around in a Ford Econoline van, but that was just really a place to sleep and uh, and a and a mode of transportation. But it wasn't you know a mobile production unit in the sense that I couldn't charge up the batteries of the camera there. Here we've got plugs in the wall here, regular plugs in the walls, and you can just um, plug your phone in, plug your computer in plug your camera charger in, your drone battery charger, anything in, and just stay out here and make make video, make films. And, you know, it's really a matter of you just have to kind of choose to do it. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's a little bit of an investment for sure, but if it's something that you are passionate about, which I am, uh, you make that investment and you throw your life into it. That's what I'm doing. What I've been doing in this pandemic, really, it, it, this year has been so strange, but it's allowed me to focus in a way because, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, we have to sometimes uh, make a positive out of a negative. And, uh, you know, as a stand-up comedian touring for the last, you know, dozen years or so all over the world, constantly on the road, uh, it was, um, you know, it was, um, there was no time to do anything else, like focus on my filmmaking or focus on this podcast or focus on photography or making music. There was just no time. I was in airports all the time, traveling, traveling, traveling. But what we're going to do this year, which is going to be great, is when touring starts again, I'm thinking in the fall. Uh, you know, if, if, if I'm lucky, I might be able to do a few pop-up shows before that, but I'm thinking in the fall, uh, I'm going to, uh, take the van, Charlie and I, and we're going to hit the road and, uh, we're going to bring my cameras and I'm going to bring this studio and we're going to drive around the United States and do uh, stand-up comedy. And, uh, we're going to drive around Canada and do stand-up comedy. And, uh, you know, I'll get back to Europe. I'll get back to England. I'll, I'll get back to Australia, mate. I'll get back over there. Cheers, mates. <laughs> but um, but not with the van, because the van does not drive on water. It doesn't drive on water. Um, you knew that. This podcast is going to evolve. And the YouTube channel is evolving. And one of the things that I really am excited about is bringing more human interaction into this podcast in the form of phone calls, but really being an audio file, right? An audio nut, huh? I, um, I, I, I don't really like taking phone calls on the podcast. I really would rather be sitting with my guests. So soon enough, I'm going to have my guests sitting right here across from me. We'll both be talking into microphones, and we'll have the beautiful view in the background, and it's going to be amazing. So I can't wait to do that. Also, when we're not doing the podcast itself, but just doing doing the films, uh, I can't wait, can't wait to get out on the street and just start talking to people again. And as we travel around the country, Charlie and I, we're going to be able to stop and make little films and documentaries and interviews with people all over the land and have some fun, 
get a little weird and wacky. Take it back to the the early days of the Tom Green Show, get a little weird. This is the Tom Green Show. It's not the Green Tom Show. This is my favorite show because it is my show. This is the Tom Green Show. It's not the Green Tom Show. This is my favorite show because it is my show. If this was your show, you'd probably like it more than I did. But it's not your show. It's the Tom Green Show. I I missed a line. (laughs) You'd probably like it more than I did. That's just because it was your show, but it's not your show. It's the Tom Green Show. I missed the last line. Wow. Forgot the lyrics to my own song. Hmm. It's been too long, man. We got to take it back to the streets. That's what we're going to do. We're taking it back to the streets. Awesome. I want to say please subscribe to this podcast, the Tom Green Podcast. I also want to say please subscribe to uh, the Tom Green YouTube channel. Uh, You can link to it from TomGreen.com or the link is in my bio on my Instagram page, but it's YouTube.com slash Tom Green is the address. You can find it. You can use a thing called Google. Google will allow you to type in a, uh, a question like where is what is Tom Green's YouTube channel? And then, like, it might answer. You can, you, can, you can also type in a question, what are the trauma pinnacles? And, because I'm not David Suzuki, all right? I'm not David Suzuki, okay? So if you type in to Google, what are the trauma pinnacles? Uh, it'll bring it up on, uh, on uh, Wikipedia, and you can get some real accurate information there. I can tell you, though, the Troma Pinnacles are a, a national landmark. Uh, it's on uh, Bureau of Land Management land. Anybody can come here. Um, I'll tell you that um, that they're, they've appeared in movies such as Planet of the Apes. Uh, they've appeared in Battlestar Galactica. Uh, and they've also been in music videos and countless films believe they're in a Rihanna music video and a Lady Gaga music video. And maybe soon they'll be in one of my music videos. Let's see. We might make, we might make some music today. We'll see what happens. But um, I shot some footage uh, last night as the sun was going down of Charlie and I hanging out. I didn't use the microphone. I just kind of used the camera mic. So there's going to be wind noise and it's going to be a little bit raw, but you know, sometimes I just like to pop the camera out and start shooting and uh, not worry about the audio because it's just, sometimes it's just a moment, right? So Charlie and I had a little wrestling match last night. She gets a little zoomy at uh, the zoomies she gets as the sun's going down. And uh, yeah, I kind of documented the peace and quiet and, and solitude of this place. It really is a beautiful place, and I've really gotten so much uh, pleasure this year uh, and really gotten in touch with myself this year. Uh, I, did not, not, I, didn't, I didn't say that I touched myself this year. I said I got in touch with myself this year. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, okay? Um, but, no, it's been, it's been a real incredible experience, and... Not only am I learning a lot about photography and uh, music production and other things, but I'm learning a lot about this country. Um, you know, the southwestern United States, for the most part, I've been in the desert up till now because of the weather up north, but that'll change soon. And uh, just learning that I can be comfortable with myself and, uh, and uh, being alone is not something that I'm afraid of. I don't have to be with someone all the time. And uh, it's given me a lot of chance to think about what my priorities are in life. Um, And I've decided that it's my career. No, I'm just joking. Um, (laughs) I've decided that, uh, you know, I have made some big choices, actually. And I'm excited to... uh, Getting this van was a big choice. Getting out and enjoying nature 
and enjoying what I love, traveling and photography, and doing it for myself, not doing it to go on tour, not doing it to, not doing it really for some, uh, you know, I mean, I'm not getting paid to do this, really, you know. This is, I'm doing this because I love it. Although I would like to make this into a TV show. So if you guys would like to have a TV show, like bring back the Tom Green show, let's say, uh, I'd like, like somebody should start a petition or something because um, I would love that. And uh, I'm talking to some people now, actually, some big, big time producers uh, who are talking about bringing back the Tom Green show, and I'm ready to do it. And it's not going to be just me alone in the desert, okay? I want to go out in the street, get back into the man on the street comedy gonzo videography mode, which was something that I did for so long in my 20s and uh, loved it. And uh, I think that I can put a different spin on it today. So, news flash of the day. Um, let's bring back the Tom Green Show. Subscribe to this podcast, the Tom Green Podcast. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. From the Troma Pinnacles, this was a little update. That's what's going on with me. And uh, I'm off to another destination now. Not sure where, but I'm off to another destination. And uh, going to get some more amazing footage for y'all. Okay. Love you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!